Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi, the Eternal Sun Empire. Uh, I want to just say this right off the bat because <laughs> I don't want you guys to miss this message. I need more recruits, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to just start recruiting random um, whatevers and just naming them whatever I want. But really, guys, if you want a character named after you or you want to insert your character, whatever, come up with a character to follow in the series. Now is the time to do it because I do not have enough people. With that said, <laughs> welcome to, I think this is episode 6. I've got Gautsu, Rowan, and Mitch hanging out at the... What is this? This is a station house. Oh. And here is our awesome village, which I think I just named Eternal Sun. I did, yeah. So let's just see Eternal Sun Village. I've got different people doing different things. Let's just give you the... What do you call it? So this is the entrance. I've got Alexis and Fido, Fido, sorry, and Alexis and Fido um, guarding the gate, which they've done a spectacular, oh shoot, here comes some guard, we should be all right. Um, but they've been doing a spectacular job at that. I've got, let's see, I've got some farming going on, which I've got Kirito working on. I've got hemp, I've got uh, hemp. <laughs> Uh, are those two different oh no that's green fruit I'm sorry that's green fruit which I don't think I have any working going yet so I think it's mainly hemp that I'm working on and Kirito is over here also working on cotton which I've managed to get six <laughs> cotton doesn't seem to be growing at such a fast rate but let me see I thought I had you hauling that there now he's doing that good so I've got Kirito he's kind of doing the farming got my pack beast cake boss over here and Shelby and Ford I don't know if you guys saw me recruit um, cake boss or not but oh something's going on hold on what got going on here uh, just some starving bandits getting wrecked by goats true I don't know if I ever told you guys this before but it's definitely worth repeating so when I first started playing Kenshi I'm like okay this is a really tough game you know, the chances of me being able to, like, survive and everything are going to be difficult, so I need to be careful. Uh, so it's probably best that I don't fight anybody first. I'll just fight a pack of goats. So I find this pack of goats, and I'm like, Psh, easy peasy. I mean, for real, let's look at their stats here. The goat stat, let's find, like, a, just a regular goat. So he's got 9 attack, 8 strength, 9 dex, 8 tough. Look, they wrecked these starving men. So anyway, needless to say, I went and attacked a goat, and he just killed me. And I died. That was it. I bled out and died. And that was uh, my welcome to Kenshi moment. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, so let's see what else. We've got Lady Angel and Jay mining some stone while Bors is working on refining some iron. And I think Tarsus... I had somebody working on that machine. Oh, Lady Tessa here. She's making building materials, which we've got. Oh, I think I need somebody to haul them. Oh, wow. We're stacked on building materials. Not bad. Um, yeah, we're pretty stacked on a lot of our resources here. Almasty over here mining some copper at our copper ore drill. We've got Haiti. I added her in recently. She's... Um, based off of a person who made a food mod. I don't know if I showed her in the last episode or not. She's a unique character. Let me t turn her job off just so you can see. She's got like red skin and I gave her purple hair. I can't make her undo that weird like like stance that she's in or whatever, but anyway, <laughs> I've got her making steel bars at a very slow rate. I think are they being dumped off in there? I don't have any steel bars, man. Um, let's see, what else do I got going on here? I've got electro uh, electrical components that are being worked on. I've got Philo over here making, he made a motor. Oh, I was going to have him make something else. Let's see what's in the queue. He made a motor. Oh, I was going to have him make a skeleton repair kit. Let's... I'm going to have him make like a, what do I need to make a skeleton repair kit? <clears throat> I need steel bars, robotic components, okay, that's what it is. 
motor just needs iron plates and electrical components. So I'll just make a few motors do that for now. So I've got Philo working on that. And I've got Genu, Zombie, and Ben. They're my builders. And they're waiting on steel bars so that they can finish the turrets. They've got one going on. I'm going to put... Does anybody have a good turret ability? Gino does. So Gino, we're going to assign you to this turret, pal. And there you go. Let's... There we go. And I think I can change it to the AI so that they like... I think it's like shoot f shoot first, ask later, some kind of shoot first, ask later. Yeah, we do that. There we go. Okay, so, oh, oh, he, he's going ham already. Who's he shooting? Oh, snap, we're going to have to get those, uh, get that river raptor. We'll get Alexis and Fido on that. Let's see how they do. No, maybe, maybe I'll change the AI on that. Shoot first, ask la later because I don't want to. I don't want to attract unnecessary beef. Let's see, they're doing pretty good. Good boys. And what is Zombie and Ben doing? Oh, they're gonna heal him up. Good boys. Nice. And then everybody goes back to work. I love this. Um, I did disable hunger. It was just starting to feel too much like The Sims. And I'm just not about that life. So, yeah. I decided we would not even worry about that. So, yeah. Hunger disabled. We're going to... Now I've got these guys. We need some research artifacts so that we continue um, leveling up our research bench. Because I think we're still at... Five, or four here. I think five's the biggest tier. These, oh, ancient science books. That's what I need. I think I just need a few more, but the rest of these are just Far Eastern weapons manuals and things. So, um, yeah, in order to get tech level five, I need a few more of those books. Who's under attack? What's Gino doing? He's going ham. Is he shooting? Oh, he's going for one of those bandits, too. They're going to get him, watch. I just want to show you how efficient these guys are. I have some of them off of hold. Oh, snap. And watch. I bet you anything, if he dies, Almasty's going to just come take his body. Oh, he's playing dead. Uh, well, I think our, our boys can handle it. Anyway, man, he got Drax, though. That right leg. He's not coming back from that. Anyway, so, got my scouting party here. And we are going to go and loot some stuff. I did a lot of strength training and things. So I've been doing a lot of things off camera. And after this episode, I'm going to continue to do a lot of things off camera. Um, I've got a list of goals I want to just read to you. This is what I'm going to be working on after this episode and maybe a little bit into this. So I've got a little Kenshi to-do list that I um, <laughs> put together on my uh, one of my breaks at work because I was like, what better thing to do than make a to-do list for all the fun stuff that I need to do in Kenshi. So I'm, this, I'm not really proficient with this app, but I'm trying to... I, I just got an iPhone this year and I was using Androids for the duration of my smartphone havingness. <laughs> so, okay, so here, here we go. Um, let's see. Number one, I'm going to build some buildings for crafting, an armor smith, a weapon smith, a distillery, clothing shop, etc. Um, I'm going to send someone. So these boys are actually probably going to go out also to get some blueprints for Azuchi armor. And then I'm going to craft the right machines to be able to make mats for armor and swords. So probably I'm going to need more steel bars and uh, those sorts of things. And then I'm going to designate an armorsmith and a swordsmith. I'm going to have the armorsmith begin making the Azuchi armor. So just so you know, the Azuchi armor is a, um, it's part of a mod that I'm using called Azuchi armor in buildings. Oh, which i got to show you. That's the most important part. Crap. There, there's a lot of things that have happened that I haven't had a chance to show off. So this is going to be like the throne room 
for Galtsu. So even though he's the emperor, he still has a lot of work to do. But here's his throne, which is also the mod, so he's got that. And then Peterhausen is um, babysitting his armor right now, which I got him even better armor. Let us let me just show you how cool it looks. Look at that. That helmet. That general armor is so awesome. So, yeah, very happy about that. Um, you know what? I really need more people working on making the, what do you call it? So, Lady Tessa, we have plenty of building materials. We're going to have you also work on steel bars because that's really important that you do that. There we go. Yeah, that'll go faster because those steel bars are going to be in high demand now. Okay. Uh, what's next here? Right. So anyway, Zuchi armor. We're going to um, have somebody designated to start crafting that. And finally, pull it back up here. Uh, going to have, oh, I'm going to have the swordsmith make katanas for everyone to train dexterity. So Almasty in the comments, the actual person who Almasty is named after, um, reminded me that the best way for people who are going to be using heavy weapons um, to be able to swing faster is to work on their dexterity, which the best way to do that is training with katanas. So I'm going to get everybody katanas. We're going to start training on that. I'm probably going to do a lot of that off camera. And then um, finally, I've got some Ashigaru blueprints that we're also going to be working on as well. So we're going to have different units, different squads, different squad leaders, etc. So in the meantime, let's hit up these ruins. Uh, we'll head over here first. We'll keep these guys together. Make sure they're on hold and in sync, not the boy band. And uh, yeah, go on our little merry way here. Check out, see, see how much of uh, the, ooh, I got another one of those turrets. You know what I'm gonna do, since I've got another one just before I leave? I'm gonna put, um, I'm going to put one of the guys over here. Let's see, we'll put Ben on one also. So that way we're all protected. Because those turrets do a lot of damage. Those are, I think I've got pretty strong turrets. So, yeah, I've trained Rowan's um, strength up. So him and, or he and Mitch, so they both got pretty good strength. I brought a sleeping bag so that that way if uh, we get injured we can rest. They got some pretty good weapons too. So it should be okay. I did try to um, raid one of these, what do you call it, ruins um, off camera while I was playing. And uh, I, I unlocked the door or the gate or whatever to the ruins and there was like a horde of blood spiders that came out like maybe 30 or 40 of them and it was just Gautsu by himself which also I need to start training uh, an alternative thief because once Gautsu uh, retires to sit on his throne and drink sake and eat dust witches all day or <laughs> whatever emperors do in Kenshi um, I'm gonna need somebody else to go out and do the stealing so I'm thinking it's probably going to be Kirito. Um, I definitely don't plan on... Oh, what's up, dog? I definitely don't plan on keeping Kirito as, like, a farmer. Um, that's just a temporary thing, just out of convenience. Oh, look at you. Come on, what's up? Katsu, go get him. Oh, you're already jacked up. Ah, that's what I thought. You can all sit down. I hope my boys have med kits. I just realized I don't know if I gave them med kits or not. Yeah. Okay. This dude's not bad. Here, Rowan, go get that one. Yeah, this is probably going to be our next <coughs> training subjects. Oh, that one's actually not in terrible shape. Let me send Gatsu over to help him out. Dang, we're 
gonna have to rest already. Shoot, might be best to just keep everybody together. I thought that one was weak, but I guess not. Oh, you know what though? Let me send Mitch over to help because this guy, oh, Mitch's leg is jacked up. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, Gautu, go get him. Man. Okay, now we gotta heal each other up. Alright. You go heal him up. Let's loot these guys. Oh gosh, you're kidding me. Blood spiders. We've got problems. Gauzu's just perfect. Crap. It's only these two. Gauzu should be able to take them on by himself. Dude, back up, back up, back up, back up. Gauzu, what are you doing, man? There you go. Take their teeth and not risk anything. Man. I gotta heal Mitch. Okay. Anything else? Oh, this sucker's getting back up. Let's just take that. take their weapons just in case. Dang, Rowan's jacked up. There we go. Alright, well I guess it's time to rest for a little bit <laughs> until further notice. Okay, so this has been a little <laughs> unsuccessful because blood spiders continue to attack while Mitch and Rowan take turns resting. I got Rowan mostly healed up, so he's pretty good. Um, Mitch, I'm going to try and wait at least until like 6 a.m. game time um, before we move on. But yeah, I just wanted to, <laughs> to let you guys know this is not going so well. Usually I, um, I only take one person to do something like this, and I thought it would be a good op opportunity for... Rowan and Mitch to come too because they both have pretty good strength and so as haulers I need them to be able to carry you know lots of loot and stuff so that's pretty much what I've been working on their toughness has gone up a little bit since being out here um, but yeah let's see I'm just gonna wait until six we've got just a few more seconds in game time and we'll wrap it up and head over to that ancient Ruin. Let's go ahead and get you up there. We'll dismantle that. Pick that up. All right, fellas. I think everybody's walking at normal speed, so we're good. All right. Yeah, blood spiders kept coming, and those bandits that I knocked out kept getting up. I killed a couple of them, but I'm sure you guys know how that can be. I disarmed them all, which I'm actually going to just disregard their weapons real quick. I just did that so they couldn't attack us. There we go. Get rid of all those. So we need to save room for the stuff that we're going to get. We also need some more stuff too for like um, that little skeleton workbench or whatever kind of work. Oh, What's the deal there? Oh, he's eating somebody, isn't he? He's eating a red saber. And that blood spider is almost dead. We're going to get him. Just waiting for it to load. There we go. Yeah, we're going to go get him. Oof. Man, those things are so nasty. There we go. Take those teeth. Alright, heal up, heal up. Yeah, see, Rowan took such a hit to the chest just from... That spider getting, I think it was only one hit on him. We might have to go and rest in um, Shark, too. Oh, we're also allied with the Hounds now. So, um, let's see, who, who do we got for allies? We've got... I need to be careful and watch this, actually. 
need to be really careful. I don't want to be going through there. Let's go this way, because we don't want to go in the water and then get stuck and get freaking eaten by lead spiders. Okay, so we're allied with the Guild of Surgeons, the Hounds, and the Shinobi Thieves. And we have pretty good uh, rapport with the Holy Nation and the Shek Kingdom, because I turn in lots of bounties to them. So we, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Um, I think, I, I'm not sure, I might have to do some research or just some trial and error. I have had some run-ins with the stone rats trying to extort me. I have paid them off, it was really not a whole lot, so I didn't feel too bad. It was like, I think, 2k to pay them off. So, I did do that um, once, but I don't plan on continuing to pay them. What I want to do, I, well, what I need to do, I actually need to hire some more mercenaries to protect the base. I had like four different mercenary squads protecting the base, um, so it could get dangerous if we get attacked, but uh, otherwise I do need to keep some people there until I have a large enough squad trained up. Um, otherwise, let's see, what was I going to say? Um, I don't remember. Must not have been that important. Let's go over here. Nope, I lost the thought. But anyway... Oh, stone rats, right. Okay, we're going to try swimming through here. So I may go and try and attack the stone rats. Um, I, I wonder if I kill their leader, if they'll still be able to like try and extort me. Because I do have reactive world as a mod, so I know there's different like benefits slash consequences for attacking like bosses and things so I'm gonna hopefully let that load for a sec I'm gonna hopefully see if that'll work because then I won't have to worry so much about constantly getting attacked or you know people trying to extort us um, so far I think those are the only people we run into aside from like dust bandits and hungry bandits we're getting attacked I think Zombie and Genu and Ben are on top of it. We should be okay. There's a book, but I don't... It's really not that important. And there's where I need to go. So let's get the fellas over here. Just make sure everybody's okay. I'm just keeping an eye on their health. Did I... Oh... Uh, we're good, we're good. I was like, did I just send those three down here? Just gotta keep an eye on their health every so often. And I've got other people too. Oh, we're gonna sneak. Somebody's nearby. I don't know if it's blood spiders or not. Oh, and these guys can't pick anything. Can I just do a quick save to be on the safe side? Hopefully we get some good stuff out of this one. I'm hoping for, I need at least two ancient science books and then pretty much anything else I can get, um, any kind of like robotic parts or whatever. Okay, hopefully there's not a whole bunch of like spiders. I think we're good. All right, can we shut this door? Oh, I guess not once it's open, it's open. Okay, so. Mitch and Rowan, I'm going to have you guys just chill down here because I'm going to be passing off loot. We're going to grab these books though. I'm basically going to just have them store loot. Is there anything? Can you unlock that? No. They don't really have any skills in terms of lock picking. I'll make some... Uh, training boxes for them to practice. Okay, one science book down. Old treasure map, engineer's map, ancient military documents. Very good, very good. Let's check this box. Old treasure map, very good. Make sure there's not anything else. I think we're good. Alright, let's check the second floor. 
so is this is this technically an ancient library? Yeah, lost library outpost. Perfect. Those are the best ones for ancient science books, anyway. I believe. Let's see what else we got over here. Yeah, we'll just take all that. Damaged books don't need it. I'm sure I could use that leather. trying to see if there's anything that I could use. That old map I think is beneficial. It's a medical workbench. Books. Always need books. Oh, is that everything? Man, okay, so this really didn't have a lot then. Uh, okay, okay. So I guess we're gonna just move on from here. I'm going to divide the spoils with these two fellas. We're going to give you those. And Mitch. I don't know where that dog noise is coming from because we ain't got no dogs here. over here that I could use. There's some skeleton repair kits. I'm gonna send I'm gonna send Gatsu out real quick just to grab up all the good stuff that's just scattered around here. So we'll get that book. That armor plating's gonna come in handy too. And that skeleton repair kit will be nice. There's, oh wow, all kinds of stuff over here, shoot. Okay. Um, let's get, I don't know what a grind machine is. I'm gonna just see. Might be some big heavy thing. <sighs> Crying machine. Oh, it sells pretty good. I want to get in the business of making skeleton repair kits because those sell pretty, pretty good. Oh, power core. I think I need that. I could probably use that motor. Oh, I think it's an AI core that I need actually, but that's okay. Let's get that. All kinds of fat loot. Guess I can't get that one. Okay, I guess that'll do. Okay. Let's just see what I've got here. Alright. Oh, those power cores sell pretty good. already oh probably because I'm carrying this armor shoot let's give some of the lighter stuff to him if I do that oh yeah that makes a huge difference just keep that on for now 
Everybody's still weightless, so we're good. Okay, we need to get to the next spot. Gonna quick save while everything's good. Our three boys are still doing okay too. Okay, where to next? Uh, there's some ruins down there. Let's. Why don't we head over here? We'll just work our way down. And the good thing is, is while we're looting, the guys kind of get a chance to rest. Ooh, you know what I should do is start um, laying out the sleeping bag while Gautu does the looting of these different ruins and things. And then that way, they can get all healed up while he's doing that. I think that would be good. I mean, they're mostly okay right now. Rowan's chest could use a little help and Mitch's head, but otherwise, uh, doing all right. And moving right along let's see just keeping an eye out for any other ruins or anything who's you one of my mercenaries traveled out kind of far that swamped lab I think is the place where I was trying to go where all those blood spiders were maybe we'll check that out because with at least three of us now we should be okay ooh what are y'all doing they're fighting surgeon generals. Those are my boys. Oh, heck no. I can't let them fight these red sabers by themselves. They're my allies. I gotta get in it. Got to get in there. Rowan. Get that one. There we go. Yeah, we gotta help our allies for sure. They'll probably heal us up too. Oh, I could get some medical supplies, like a splint and stuff. That wouldn't be bad. Oh man, Rowan's down. Shoot. They gotta help our allies, man. I put everybody back on hold. And let's heal up Rowan. See if he's got some splints or something. I could definitely use that. I don't think I need any of that stuff. Oh, don't leave me, guys. Shoot. Alright, I'm gonna have him pick you up. Okay. You know what, maybe we might rest over by this swamp village. We just couldn't leave them out there to dry. Rowan got another toughness point, so that's good. Mitch got, I think, one or two, so everything helps, you know? I love, I love how everything you do in this game, like you're doing, you're strengthening something. As long as you're doing something, like you're working a skill. If you're running, you're training athletics. If you're getting beat up, you're training you know defense and toughness if you're winning you're training your attack skills it's like no matter what if you carry somebody you're training strength I mean what could be better than this so let's wait for this to load and we'll go ahead and put down the sleeping bag here put you down oh you're good good okay we're close to the swamp village, so if we get attacked, we could just bait them over to there. Let's see. I don't want to get too far. I'll put it right there. Good stuff. Let me just guys come on over. Okay, we're gonna rest up again, and we're after we finish resting up, we are going to head for the swamp labs and hopefully be able to get some good stuff. So as we're resting, a uh, pack of angry blood spiders decided to just come and attack everybody, so that's cool. We are going to run over into the city. I'll have to come back for our sleeping bags because we're going to get hurt otherwise. Come on, boys. Is there nobody here? 
I just realized if there's nobody here to help us, we're in trouble. Oh, there's these guys here. Guys. Oh. Y'all better help. There we go. We're not going to be able to take them by ourselves. I don't know what these dudes are doing. We're all glitched up in this house. Oh my gosh. Oh man, Kautsu's down. I can't believe these guys aren't helping. guys just aren't going to do anything. How is that even possible? Rowan, you gotta get out of here, man. Okay. Keep going, keep going. them take them out. Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh, man. This is getting crazy. Okay, Mitch is okay. Galzu is okay. Shoot. That got pretty bad. I would say we're shooting them, but it was like... When I had him up there, they weren't really doing anything. I don't know what happened. Okay. Let's go heal Galzu first. Gosh. He got it pretty bad, too. They just came out of nowhere and started attacking. Alright, let's get... Let's first of all, pick him up. This is tough. This is turning into a little bit of a danger mission here. But let's heal Mitch up. There we go. Alright, um... Is there a place I could buy? I think I can buy this place. I'm gonna just do that. There we go. We'll have our own little safe house in here. Let's go ahead and just shut that. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta send... I'll send Gauzu back to get the, uh, what do you call it? The sleeping bags. Darn it. I knew it couldn't be that easy. Where did I have them? There they are. Okay, we're just gonna rest up here until we're 100 <laughs> percent so i just wanted to uh update you on what i've got going on here I've, i'm currently sending um kirito over to the way station to hire some more mercenaries to guard the base for eight days or so and then if, as you can see i've got a bunch of buildings that are now under construction uh, for various things so i think this is gonna be my swordsmith over here and I'm going to keep extra materials for that, um, so it'll be like a little storage area there. This is going to be like my main soldier area, so I'm going to have like uh, training in here, beds for sleeping, like a whole like medical area, training area kind of thing. Um, I think I'm going to keep gear and things. I might keep it also in this big building here that I'm making. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. Um, I thought I put something over here. That might be my armor smith, and then this might be clothing over here because it's right next to the cotton field. Something in clothing, armor, swords. Oh, and this is going to be a little shop that I have, so uh, so I can sell some of my goods. I believe people will come to purchase goods uh, 
if I set up a shop there and put items in that shop. I'm not 100% sure, but we are going to test it out. And now we've got Kirito at the way station. So we'll see if we can uh, get everybody recruited. Meanwhile, um, everybody's just resting up. Actually, I need to switch Galzu and Rowan. Mitch is still pretty hurt, but we're in our little refuge that we bought in the uh, Swamper Village place. So let's get us some mercenaries first and foremost. Oh gosh, you guys are hurting. Uh, oh, and I'll recruit somebody too, because I need recruits. Yeah. Looking for a teacher. I'm listening. 3,000 cats done. Alright, Mitaru. That's a cool name. Definitely like the name. Let's customize Mitaru. Let's give him a... Let's see with this animation. Hmm. He's supposed to be a teacher. We'll make him old. There we go. Your face is a little scary. There we go. We'll give him an old man face and some old man hair oh gosh not quite what I had in mind oh there we go an old man beard there we go this is going to be Mitaru the samurai master There we go. And thin him out a little bit. Make his feet a little smaller, his hands a little smaller. And there we go. And we gotta make him a little hunchback. Oh, that messes up this stance though. Shoot. Let's see. Try not to use so many generic stances. Let's see, we'll just use this one for now. There we go. He's old and hunched over. There we go. So we got Mataru now. Very nice, very nice. Oh man, a couple different recruits. I don't have any skeletons. Are we good? What faction world states would you like to check? Wait, what? What's he asking? Hello, I can check your reactive world and vanilla world states. Oh no, I don't need that. Interesting. Never saw him before. Never mind. Okay, cool. I thought he was just a, uh, what do you call it? Recruit. I don't think I need any hivers right now. What's your deal? Vagrants. What do you got going on here? I ain't talking type. Okay. It's a mercenary captain. I need some mercenaries to guard my outpost. Eight days for 8k done and he's a belt trader plastic surgeon there's nobody up here okay those mercenaries should be sufficient protection uh, and we'll take Mitaru we're gonna have to get him some uh, new clothes I think Kirito could probably just carry him yeah we'll just carry him Oh, I gave uh, Kitty to. Oh, look. It looks like a city now. Nice. We'll give, um. I gave Kirito a new sword to this thing. It's kind of katana esque looking. It's really powerful, I believe. Powerful enough, anyway. MK3, so it does 86 cutting damage, 72 blunt. It does a lot of blood loss, 1.4, or so. Looking pretty good. Uh, 
And anyway, I think I can... I just want to make sure Kirito gets safely back to Eternal Sun Village. And then we'll, um... Get back over to Gautu and the boys. Construction's come along nicely, though. We got ourselves a whole little city here. We just need so many more workers. That's the... That's why I gave that little disclaimer at the beginning of the episode. Because I just need so many people to... Like, you can see there's a bunch of jobs that need to be done that just, I don't have the people to do them. Okay, Mataru doesn't really have any skills, so he was just talking smack. But, uh, let's see, who do we want to make? We, we need to designate an armor smith and a sword smith. And I don't want it, I don't want Mataru to be that because I feel like one of you guys should be but also you know what though the swordsmith and armor smith aren't gonna get a whole lot of action because they're gonna be working a lot so maybe it's better to have like oh yeah maybe I'll do like boars he can be the um, armor smith and Mataru could be the swordsmith that's a good idea let's have him work on his physical labor we need to get him some clothes first let's uh let this load for a second Kirito Go ahead and resume your jobs, my man. You can also help engineer. Mataro, we need to get him outfitted, but I want to just real quick pop on over and start getting Rowan healed up. So let's do that. Because Galzu is doing okay. Just got to let it load, of course. Man, I really need a, uh, what do you call it, SSD to help run things more smoothly. I'm pretty sure that's what will fix my long loading times and things hopefully maybe I need more hard drive or RAM I don't know too much about computers I need something more uh, to be able to make this run more smoothly if you've seen my um, previous videos I know that's funny I made that word up by the way um, <laughs> if you've seen some of my previous videos uh, I was actually like the brother series the majority of that was run on a laptop so I don't know how I did that I just loved Kenshi and really wanted to play and I really wanted to make videos and I made it happen so <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's what we did alright let's get back over because we want to get Mataru outfitted I'm gonna have to get him some food even though there's not hunger if they start off with hunger or if they get like started start to get eaten by like blood spiders or skin spiders or something their hunger degenerates so um, new recruits I might have to get food for and also um, people who have suffered at the hands of vicious creatures uh, let's see what we got in the armor department we don't want to give him anything too heavy Maybe we do. Maybe we want to train his, uh, what do you call it, his strength up. Although it would be good to get his athletics up first. I don't have any pants. I'm not okay with this. Let's just give him that. And we'll give him some Ashland goggles. There we go. And some boots. How does he look? Oh yeah, baby. It's like Master Roshi. <laughs> Alright, well let's get him working. Because that's important. I don't have anybody mining stone. So Mataro, you're going to be mining some stone, my boy. My man. Okay. Everything else is coming along pretty smoothly. Um, I want to put something here. You see people keep cutting through. Oh, that's probably not a good thing either. I don't know if anybody could get through there. Let's test that zombie. Let's take you off jobs real quick. Yeah, he, he can't get through there. That's good. Okay, never mind. I lied. There we go. Keep everybody working. Uh, Philo, if you're not doing anything... Oh, she's mining also. That's good. Uh, let's see, Philo, if you're not doing anything, run that. I want to make sure everybody's working.
I've got some generators in this room too. I made this little storage thing. I've got some windmills going, and then I've got generators, backup battery things, all kinds of fun stuff. So we're doing pretty good over there. Getting plenty of steel bars, although I don't think we're running the machine right now. Let me see. No, we're not. Okay, so why don't we get you two also building if you're not running the machine? There we go. Yeah, we just want everybody being productive right now. <clears throat> this is done. So I might go ahead and make a shop counter. Let's uh, let's get you in here and see what we can do <clears throat> in terms of making a shop counter. Okay. It's going to be under interior. And... Where is it? Sitting pillow, sitting box. I don't see it. I don't see it. Tech. Nope. Storage. Shop counter. Oh, dang. Alright. And that way, when I make an excess of things, because I'm, I'm going to have to train uh, my armor smith and weapon smith to <clears throat> be able to make, like, masterwork grade um, gear. And so I'm going to be making a lot of other gear in between. So I'm going to need to, uh, you know, sell the excess that I don't need. Although I am going to be making those katanas for everybody so we could just get dexterity up. So the next episode will probably be, it'll probably be like way after the events that take place here. Um, but the next episode will probably be doing some more training this time with everybody and everybody having katanas so that we can get that dex up because that's going to be important. Um, Galtzu has pretty good dexterity and Lady Angel does as well. But like everybody else could really stand to have better dexterity. Yeah, especially like Zombie, Ben, they're not even in the double digits, Boars, Burke, Haiti, Mataru's going to need a lot of training, so, yeah, it's going to be fun, going to be fun, and I've got all these mercenaries now, keep holding it down, so for eight days I won't have to worry, and I've got random tech hunters here too, which is pretty cool, they'll, um, I think they're just here visiting, but they'll help, like, if things go down or, like, common enemies come in, like, they've, they'll pretty much have our back. I mean, they may not, like, heal us or anything, but at least they'll be there to, you know, help fight. So I've got a little while on these guys. I might um, do some stuff and fast forward, and then when they come back, oh, oh, I could probably hire him. Kirito, let's talk to this man. There we go, eight days worth. I'm going to have to sell some stuff and do some stealing, so I'll be doing a lot of things in between episodes and things. Um, I'm going to send, you know what I'm going to do since Gaozu's healed up, is I'm going to leave Rowan and Mitch to heal. I'm going to send him out because we're running out of time on this episode. So why don't we just send the big boy out. We'll leave a lot of the loot with Mitch since he sold a bunch of the stuff. We sold those power cores and a couple other things, so why don't you take that, 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 and that. Actually, I need some mudkips. There we go, and I'll take that. Perfect, and then we'll load for eternity, and then I will try and hit up this swamped lab again. Because I think, I think that's where the business is. Let's hit that up. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't want to keep having you guys wait all day long for everybody to heal up. And I'm running out of time, too. My wife has raid night tonight, so I can't be cutting into her raid night time. Playing Kenshi, making videos. 
but I will be playing a lot of Kenshi, <laughs> um, getting stuff done off cam, so I'll have my I'll have my time to do that. Anyway, why don't I go ahead? I'll um. Oh, is this it? Oh wow, that's closer than I thought. Yeah, so this was the one. I opened this gate and like blood spider hell just poured out and almost killed my face off. Let's see. Hopefully there's not like some evil mechanical death spiders in here. I think we're Gucci, man. I don't think I looted this one in already. I'm gonna be sad if I did. I may have. You know what, I just realized I actually may have looted this one. This may have been, I may have led them out and then come back for it. <clears throat> I'm not going to be super depressed, but I think that might have been the case. Let's just see if we have anything to loot here. Yeah. Oh, even if I did, there's some stuff here I didn't get, so. Now let's just... This would be where the loot is, so we will shortly find out if I've already been here. I don't think I have, because some of this stuff is still locked, and I think we are good. Oh, here's a pro tip. So you see how they're stacked up on each other? I right-click the top one. It's got this stuff. The bottom one, that. And the one on the right, that. So they are all separate. Keep that in mind. Alright, let's lockpick that. Give us some science books. And then same thing with these. These are all, which I'm going to take those tools because I might need those. These are all individual crates. See that? I'm going to take that motor. Yep. Good stuff, right? You get all kinds of looty loot. Here's the big boy safe. Okay. Oh my gosh. Nine? What? I need a lot of this stuff. Oh my gosh. I need all. I need generator cores. I don't know how many. Oh, I'm already lightweight. Balls. I need those. It sucks because I need a lot of this stuff. See, this is why I needed. This is why I needed them with me. This is why I needed. Um, Rowan and Mitch with me to help carry this stuff. I might have to still send them out to help. Shoot, man, I got some really good stuff. What? Map of the Ashlands. Oh no, what? Don't give it away. Oh, that's all one. Okay. Shoot. trading range. I'm like, what the heck? I've got room. Okay, we're getting filled up now. I'm just going to check everything first. I can always make room if I find something better. This safe might be... That might be the good stuff. Wow. I got a nice haul from that. I was a little worried that this was one that I already got, so... CPU units. I think I need those. I'm pretty sure I need those. We're gonna, gonna make some room. I've got plenty of motors. Robotic components. I don't know how much I need those. Let's do something here. I need all of them. Gosh, my weight is up there. Um, let's see. Oh no, I need those. Okay, you know what? 
I don't think I need all these giant splin kits. Let's be real. Let's be real here. Okay. Nope. I need that. Um. I, I'll take that too. Okay. So we're moderate weight. We need to move some of this around. And I don't need these tools, actually. Okay. I think we've shifted things around as much as we can in order to make room. Okay. Wow, what a haul. Very nice, very nice. Let's get back to the boys here. And um, we'll divide up the loot between everybody and I guess head back home with our new stuff so I can begin doing research. I'll upgrade to tech level 5 and just keep going from there. Uh, I just want to wait till it loads before I send him over. I just gotta be safe. Gotta be smart. Let's open the door. Alright, and then we'll just uh, skip past him traveling. Okay, I've got the boys together. I've got all the loot divided up between them. I decided I'm just going to leave the uh, sleeping bags here. So we'll use this as a safe house anytime we're in the swamp here. We're close to shark, kind of like right in the middle of the swamp. So we can uh, just have them go over there and get some, uh, what do you call it, some rest if they need it or whatever during their expeditions in the swamp but for now we're gonna head back we're gonna get some training done go ahead and wrap everything up and uh, call it an episode all right and we are finally making it back to eternal sun city um, if you see this green dot on the map that's a wandering assassin and I came across him he was getting attacked by a skin spider and so I definitely had to help him out oh dang this dude got shot up wow well looks like you uh, tried to invade my territory son anyway so uh, who's this guy that's oh, a tech hunter anyway um, yeah so we made it back successfully we're gonna start getting on that research ASAP I'm gonna put Mitch and Rowan back to their job oh I guess Rowan didn't have a job well you are going to help build, sir. Get back to work. We're going to get Mitch back on his job. I uh, guess he doesn't really have anything he could be working on at the moment, so we'll just have him... Oh, wow, man. Pretty much all these buildings are built already. Look at that. Not bad at all. Wow. Okay, so um, I'm sure you're going to see plenty of progress by the time the next episode comes around, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like it, uh, subscribe for more. There's a little button now that comes on at the end of the episode. It should also give you a link to the next episode as well once that's released. So thank you always for watching. I appreciate the support, and I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you next time.